If you are aspiring to become a software tester or you are preparing for a software testing interview, then you must familiarize yourself with the range of specific terms that are used when software acts abnormally. Sometimes we call it an error, sometimes a bug, a defect, fault or failure. But what's the difference between them? In this video, we will learn the difference between bug, defect, error, failure and fault. Understanding the difference between those terminologies is a must know in the field of software testing. So let's get started. What is a bug in the world of software testing? A bug is a coding mistake that causes the software to behave in an unexpected manner. Suppose in an e-commerce site, programmer makes a mistake in an SQL query. Due to which, when a user presses the add to cart button, the wrong query gets executed and the app adds the wrong item to the cart. This is called a bug. Basically, it is an error in the code which can range from minor interface issues to critical breakdowns. Developers need to fix the bug to ensure that the software works correctly. Now, what is a defect in the world of software testing? A defect is another term for software issue. It is used interchangeably with bug. But the main difference is that it is found during the software testing by the testing team. Basically, when the testing team tests the software and compares its functionality with the requirement specification, any deviations or missing functionality is logged as a defect in the software. For example, in an e-commerce website, if the search feature doesn't return the correct products, then it is a defect. It is a broader term than a bug because it can include design flaws as well. Now, what is an error in the world of software testing? An error is a human mistake made during coding, designing or using softwares. For example, if the operations team makes a mistake in modifying the configuration file in the production environment of a banking system, even though the software binaries are correct, the wrong configuration file will cause the software to fail while performing any operation or lead to scenarios where the software doesn't know what to do. In such cases, it can raise errors like invalid input or wrong configuration file, etc. Errors can occur due to various reasons, including oversight, gaps in understanding the requirements or miscommunication. An error might not always result in a defect visible to the end user, but can lead to future faults during the application's functioning. Now, what is a failure in the world of software testing? Failure happens when the software doesn't perform its intended function, often due to a bug or a defect. For example, due to some coding error in a particular scenario, an application crashes and after that it will not start because the database is corrupt. This is called a software failure. Basically, a bug or defect started a chain of reactions which led the whole system to fail. For example, there was a bug in a part of code that updates the phone number of a user. Now, when this buggy code gets executed, it corrupts the complete user table in the database. As a result, no user will be able to log in into the e-commerce website, causing a system failure. Basically, the failure of a system is the manifestation of a defect that affects the software's performance causing the system to produce wrong outputs or behave unexpectedly from the user's perspective. Now, what is a fault in the world of software testing? A fault is an underlying problem in the system that might lead to a failure. For example, there is a bug in the code that causes the entire e-commerce site's database to get corrupted. This database corruption is a fault. 
it happens because of a bug and it will lead to system failure or some other unexpected results. Basically, a fault is a side effect that happens because of a bug and can result in a visible problem or failure. These terms will help you gain a better understanding of the activities involved in software testing. So that's all for this video. Do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos like this.